Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. In this video, we're actually running on the team deathmatch. And one thing I want you to, to pay attention to is some of the mistakes I made when I get into my hot I made a really bad you know, mistake. I, I attacked the enemy. I have a video. I don't know when I'll put it out. I already made it, but I don't know when I'll put it out. But the basis is playing aggressive. And in a sense, I played aggressive. And that was one of those moments when playing aggressive did not work to my favor. So there's sometimes there's a lot of times you need well not a lot of times you need to balance that out. If you're an aggressive player, you want to balance it out. Now as you get up into leagues, you kind of know how you play and it'll make more sense. But when you're first starting out, you're still learning. Uh, you definitely want to kind of take taper your aggressiveness so you kind of have an idea of what you're being aggressive about, right? You don't want to just be aggressive to be aggressive. <laughs> That's not what it's really about. It's about being aggressive in a way that it's going to be the odds in your favor in most cases, okay? So here we are taking out this uh, Kumo. I really trying to get back there to us really quick. So I'm just kind of hanging out. Of course, the Lance, not really trying to use my rush until I can get close to the enemy. So I want to move to the outside, moving across the field. It's kind of a waste of time. You can do it, but by yourself, it's not good, especially in, T in TDM. You, you don't want to move across by yourself. You want to kind of wait and see if the team's somewhere near you or uh, you have the opportunity to go take somebody out but you're not exposing yourself too bad, okay? And oftentimes we will still do it. So here we are, I'm gonna move back inside, right? Because even this little, the two Terrans on that little bot can do damage to me after a while. So I don't wanna just be walking up on them if I'm not getting a clean take back. So here we are just trying to put damage on this enemy bot to the outside. I'm just staying in cover, you know, just taking my time. Look for openings to go ahead and put some damage on the bot. Here's a Bogusar going to put damage on this bot. Of course, the shield's on the opposite side, so they're going to take all the damage to try to turn my way, which, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. But I got a couple of hits in them that are pretty good. So here we are, just kind of hanging out right here. And this is the thing, when you're, when you're in these matches, man, you want to really pay attention to what you're doing. Sometimes you just go an all-aggressive and you mess around and get taken out and then all of a sudden your team loses because you put yourself down now of course you have people dropping bots we, we have no control of that i know they're trying to block it you know sometimes like you know you're trying to put a timer and all that stuff and i mean it's cool but here's the thing players <laughs> players are part of the problem too right we you don't want to admit it but players are part of the problem as well things you just do that mess up the game because they want to get to a lower rank faster you know, people don't want to wait. They don't want to take the time it takes to do things in a proper manner. So it's like, I'm, I'm going to get down there right now. You know, just if you're trying to go down there, just take your time. You know, if you just run a certain hang and just run it till you go down there. But most of the time, you're going down there just to go destroy people. That's really what it's about. Go down and destroy people. It's not even about really making gold anymore. You know, you get your treasure chest, but, you know, it, it, it just it's crazy. So anyway, here we are. Got myself in a bit of a pickle. I went to go after this carnage. The thing about the carnage is it has a rush just like the Lance. And as soon as, he, as soon as I moved out, they ran back, right? <laughs> like, no, dude, you're not about to get me. Now, here's the puppies I want to talk about. The Punisher, Tehran Bill, man. I like this Bill, man. I really do. Uh, you know, the Tehran's are 350. The Punishers are 500. But they seem like they're a little over 500 these days. Uh, There's a couple of times I was getting hit by some, and then I was actually firing, and it seemed like I was hitting somebody beyond the 500 meter uh, meter range. So I'm not exactly sure what it is if they changed it or not, but I, I believe they fire a lot longer than or further than 500. Of course, you can say travel time. Most of the projectile type weapons have a little bit of travel time, maybe about you know like the like the uh, the Talumbas. They're supposed to be 500, but you might hit somebody at 520. And maybe that's what's going on. I'm not sure. I have to test it out one day. So here we are getting cover, man. Uh, basically, both these weapons don't clear out at the exact same time. So you have to clear them out if you need to. So here we go. This is a... I think this is a, a RDB. Yeah, it's an RDB grip. So even though they do a lot of damage, I'm doing way more damage. And they've unloaded everything they had, right? So... Right now, we're just gonna continue to rip them to shreds. These, man, this, this, ugh, this is a disgusting build, man. <laughs> it's a disgusting build. It gives you some range, gives you just 
you just good firepower. I mean, you could do the the Tarans on here, but I just, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just feeling these. I'm feeling these so much. So here we go. The little guys trying to come up on me. They're actually firing at my team. I think they took my team. I, nope, nope. I think my team's still back there. So we're just firing. And then the Galahad's going to move up. Of course, we're getting double damage to that shield with these Punishers. So I'm not going to waste all day trying to get through that shield because I just have Tarans and Mags. Although that can help. Uh, also, we got a team over. We have an enemy over here to the right. Farik, <laughs> Farik, is over here. So we're just trying to clear out our weapons, getting ready to go. Trying to keep myself under cover. The Galahad is not moving up yet, so I'm okay. My team, there's my team. Look at my team. Look at my team, son. All right, here we go, team. Enemy bot tried to jump. I can damage them. Flamethrowers. Oh, they took the flamethrower out. Here we go, Farik still firing on Farik. Like, dude, don't come up. Or lady, I don't know, right? Don't come up. Here we go, another one. Here we go, another one. All right, here we go. So they're low health, just cutting loose. And think about the Punisher, you get the 500 on top of the 350. So if somebody's slightly out of the range of the of the Tehrans, they're still in range of those Punishers. And here we go, Galahad's like, dude, I'm coming to get you. Targeting kind of jacked up. Not sure why I keep switching like that. Uh, whenever you have it locked in, it should be locked in. I, I still have not figured that out. I may have to go and adjust my controls some more and see what the world is. Because we've been doing this for months. <laughs> you should not do it. Then it just one day. Uh. Now, here we go. This part here, I basically pushed in. And this is a spawn area, which was not the best move. Okay. So, when you move into a spawn area, you, you're going to more than likely get into a 2 on 1 situation, if not more. And now he's gonna get, he or she's gonna get behind me. And now I'm in trouble. And I can't block energy, right? I can block the splash off of that Kumio, but I can't do it with this uh, punch, I mean, this Griffin. So it's just a bad move, okay? So we're gonna fire. Here we just fire it quickly. You know, you just wanna get them before they got a good clean hit in on me. And then I just jumped away to the wall to get some protection. Because basically, the, the Griffin, since I unloaded the majority of my clip, and they have Tehrans, I'm actually at a disadvantage. A lot of times, you don't run into that anymore because the damage has been increased so much, but it used to be that if you had a Tehrans and somebody has Orkins and they fired at you and you were able to stay kind of on the outside range, maybe at 300, you know, right at the 350 mark or a little bit under the 350 mark, you could survive it and actually out damage them because the Tehrans would keep firing, although the Orkins had unloaded the entire clip. So here we go, getting hit by the point and click weapon to the outside, the Scourge. <laughs> you know, and it, it's cool. You know, people use it. They, I get it. It's really supposed to be for the dash, but to me, it's like it shouldn't lock on anything else except for the dash, right? But that is what it is. Now we have our little Punisher. I didn't keep this set up, I just tested it out. I didn't keep it. You might want to try it. You know, it might work better with two Punishers because the Orkin is only 300. So it doesn't seem like a big difference, but the Tehran was 350 on the Griffin. Seemed to work better. Here we're going to sneak up on this guy here. Him or her, right? Try and get him out of there if I can. So when you move to the outside like this and you're taking somebody up from a stationary position, be ready to move as quickly as you can. You see I took damage, but I was trying to move as soon as I could because here we go. Boom. So usually if you're out in the open and your back is to the enemy or just out in the open, you don't know who could be behind you, especially in this, this match because there's no beacons that you're chasing, right? So you, you don't know people's position. People could be anywhere. So I'm basically trying to move to a better position to get some protection here. I'm always behind some kind of protection if I can get, my, get myself in there. And then I'm just trying to move back because... If I stay in there long enough and they have all splash, I have no protection against that at all. And it's just best to move behind something big. And then we see the Natasha moving up. I'm looking to the outside. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, okay, that's a Lance. Great. <laughs> then we start getting hit by the Hydra. The Hydra is a very deadly weapon, man. It's, it's dangerous. So you got to be careful, especially if you don't have a shield. You have an energy shield, you're in trouble with Hydra in most cases. So you got to stay, you got to hug the wall, man. You got to hug the wall. Be one with the wall, man. So here it is, man. We're coming down to the last few seconds of this thing. This is what I'm talking about. I was in the game the other day, and the player was just moving in aggressive. We was actually up by one. It just kept going. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, it, this is it. This is it. Like, you know, I don't really condone you, condone you dropping your box and stuff, but... 
when it's, it's the end of the game, it's time to play defense. You know, this ain't an offensive time frame. But, hey, you know, everybody's not paying attention. <laughs> you know, everybody's not paying attention. And we actually pull it out, man. Whew. That was a good one. That was a good one. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, slap that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Hit that notification so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.